We begin tonight with brand new developments in the Matthew Burroughs case. The investigation into the Niles officer involved shooting is being turned over to the U.S. Department of Justice. Trumbull County Prosecutor Dennis Watkins says he requested a review of the case and felt it was appropriate to refer it to the DOJ. Burroughs was killed in the shooting involving two police officers near the Royal Mall Apartments in Niles on January 2nd. This is body cam footage we're going to show you from that day. Following Burroughs' death, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation began a more than eight-month investigation. The findings were presented to Watkins. He announced last week the investigation found officers were justified in using force against Burroughs. He said Burroughs was driving his car at the officers. But friends and family of Matthew Burroughs weren't happy with those findings last week. Today, they stood outside the Niles Police Department to protest. 27 First News Weekend anchor Keely Lover met with them. They say they're fighting for justice for Matt. Justice for Matt. Justice for Matt. When do we want it? Now. Friends and family of Matthew Burroughs marched down the street Saturday night, ending in front of the Niles Police Department. Today, members of our community here in Trumbull County are gathering to respond to the lack of indictment on those officers who killed Matthew Burroughs during that encounter on January 2nd. Pastor Todd Johnson says protesters want the U.S. Department of Justice to investigate. Trumbull County Prosecutor Dennis Watkins confirmed today the case is being handed over to the DOJ for further review. Johnson says the prosecutor's office didn't deliver justice. Justice for Matt is a recognition that they did not have to fatally wound him in order to apprehend him. Today's uh, about showing the city of Niles that we're not stopping. This journey is going to continue. This, this fight for justice is going to continue. People spoke and prayed, and one man even read a poem he wrote dedicated to Matthew Burroughs. Just moved to write, and so I wrote what I felt. He titled it Ode to the Just Us System versus Mr. Matthew Burroughs. The police were afraid, or so they have said. Over them, he planned to run, so they had to pull their gun. But a little girl is without a father because to shoot tires is too much of a bother. Matthew's nine-year-old daughter, Jayla, stood beside her emotional mother. It was wrong what they did to him, and take your time. Take your time. They never want to forget about Matthew. He was a very nice father, and I love him, and I came out here today to support him and get justice for him. I stand up for justice, and he deserves justice, and I'm not going to quit until he gets it. The group joined hands to close the night with a prayer. We pray, Lord, that you would just give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as we move forward, Lord as we fight for justice for Matt. His life mattered to me. He mattered, you know, to a lot of people. Tonight, that's what this group wants people to know. And what do we want? Justice, justice for, for Matt. Matt. Justice for Matt. In Niles, Keely Lover, WKBN 27 First News.